What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how we can take this Eat Up Sierra and turn it into this. I'm Lucas and this is Astral Auto Styling. For those of you that have seen my other videos, you might recognize this as my personal truck. It is completely white OEM paint all the way around like this. Uh, I had it wrapped in a black camo, but I recently just took it off and we're going to do something different today. I was, I was kind of over that camo, had it on for just over a year, maybe a year and a half. It came off easy, unlike that other video again of trying to take off a wrap after seven years. You look here, all this like, this is just damage that was on the truck when I bought it. And if we go around, so obviously to get this wrap out and this stuff, I have to remove the handles and mirrors. So we're going to do that today, but I just want to go over all the rough areas of the truck. So we have rust on the bed, like every other truck. We got a nice ding here. That black stuff there is just wrap. We got some chips here, more stuff there, paint peeling all up here. Okay. So the truck's in rough shape. Actually just if you're interested, uh, the last video, which took like days to take off that wrap from that old Escalade, it was like seven year old wrap. This, I just unwrapped it outside in the sun and it took 20 minutes, literally 20 minutes to take all of this off. The hood and the roof, I'm, I'm gonna leave them for now because I'm not sure what I wanna do. Uh, I'm gonna go with kind of like a livery design if you saw in the clip at the beginning, but I, I don't really know what I wanna do with the, the hood yet. The roof, I'm gonna keep black, I'm like 99% sure, but this is kind of touch and go. I want to see what happens, um, how it comes or how it looks with the rest of the wrap. So that livery design, I'm not going to print this out. This is going to, I'm going to try and do it like you could do it at home. So I'm not going to go design it like with Adobe and Illustrator and all that, send it to a shop to get it printed and then lay it as one printed piece of wrap. I'm not going to do that. This is all going to be done by hand or with a Cricut. So that's kind of like a household way to cut vinyl. You don't have to spend thousands of dollars on machines. Just that, that equipment alone is all I'm gonna to use to, to get this done and knifeless tape and things like that. So having said all that, let's get this disassembled so it's ready to start wrapping. Apparently I forgot to hit record. Uh, so I'll show you what I've done. This is the repair that I made to the fender. I mean, this is just incredibly rough. I'm not trying to do anything here. This is just fiberglass filler. And like, obviously I should put uh, some other filler over this, make this nice and smooth. But like I said, the truck has all this damage everywhere else. So I'm not really concerned about that. What is good to know though, if you look at this here is you see how, like you can see how rough this finishes underneath the wrap here. So just a reminder that wrap does not hide anything. Okay, everything underneath will show and we can clearly see that here. portion of the 
livery done. But this is the look we have so far. I'm kind of just going with the flow, you know, whatever comes to mind. I do have these decals that I cut out with my Cricut. So again, I'm just trying to, like, this is something you could do at home. These are the max size you can put on a mat that's 12 by 24. So I'm pretty sure this is like 11 and a half by 23 and a half. I always leave a half inch gap. So we have some 22s to match the 22 on the door. And there's some other decals that I'm going to put on this truck, but it's coming together. So let's keep going. The truck is all done, guys. This is what it looks like. I'm very happy with it. All done by hand or on the Cricut. Now, if you're going to add decals, this is pretty obvious, but I still mess it up and kind of was kicking myself because it's just a dumb mistake. So if you look here, the sparkle in the Canadian flag, k and it's all aligned to the right, okay? Because we're on this side of the vehicle. If we go to the other side, you'll see they're all aligned on the left because it has to, because it's a mirror, right? So it's not exactly the same. Now, same thing here with, with the 22. If you look at this black band, you'll see it comes to this point here. And that's how it's uh, separated from the two. But because, if you go back to the other side, it's a mirror, you're not going to have the same look on this side, right? Because the twos are facing the other way. So you kind of just have to take some measurements and make sure it lines up to the other side. On the back, this is what I was talking about with not seeing the seam. So because I didn't overlap or because I didn't cut the white here, this whole thing is wrapped in white. When I do the black part here with the knifeless tape, you don't see that overlap because there's there's no ridge under here. It's flat. It looks a lot cleaner like that. Very, very cool. I'm happy with it.